And in 2013, one British crime drama took this double act template to new heights. Broadchurch was absolutely uh, a phenomenon. Um, you know, the kind of thing that after a couple of episodes, people are talking about it every day. What Americans would call a water cooler moment. We don't have water coolers, we have like, a nice cup of tea or something. Broadchurch combined the interplay of its two leads with a slow-burning storyline that gripped viewers like nothing else. In a very modern and original way, it did something very old-fashioned where you take every single character and you put them under the microscope. Is it this person? Is it this person? Oh, no, is this person the murderer? It keeps wrong-footing you. In comes a cop from outside, David Tennant, uh, who is working with a sort of local cop who knows the family and so on. So you have a, you have a, a fantastic kind of uh, battle between those two. But it was Olivia Coleman that stole the show. And so, do you mind not calling me Miller? Why? No, I, I don't really like the surname thing. I prefer Ellie. 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 No. Like all great partnerships, it is filled with conflict, and yet there is an underlying respect because they both need each other. What are you doing? Why are you coming around here? The series' shocking finale, when Miller discovers the killer's identity, was one of the most talked-about TV moments of the year. It was June. It's that split second when you knew that Miller had realised what her husband had done. June killed Barry Latimer. It was an amazing performance of sheer animal attack. <laughs> <laughs> upon this man who, A, has done a truly terrible thing, B, has lied about it, and C, is her husband, who she loves. Coleman's performance brought her huge critical acclaim and a hat-trick of BAFTA awards. And the BAFTA goes to Olivia Coleman. Yeah.